Yeah. We've heard there's some big changes coming up that we're going to see the fall maybe of the House of Ishida. Is your character going to want to welcome back four if you get the opportunity to come back to the Raza? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if welcome no is the right word. Uh, yeah, welcome him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know about that. He hasn't been uh, he hasn't been a great friend this season, uh, not so much. I, uh, I, if he comes back, we're gonna have some issues to work for. <laughs> yeah, like you know, trying to kill us and everything. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's that. Not much, you know, but uh, we tried to kill him too. So it's was that twenty minute window. Yeah. How kind of him. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, Without spoiling, it's hard to talk about it. But yes, uh, we've heard about that in, in episode four, Follow the House of Ishida. Um, and I think it's fairly safe to say that, you know, Alex may not end up off the show. So how we end up being together, or if we end up being together, and what happens after the fall, the truth is we don't even know. Um, no, we don't, we don't know. Uh, if we get a season four, I think we will know. <laughs> We'll see. Yes. One of the last things we did see involved, of course, your character three and the um, android was, you know, holding gun to his head while he wasn't aware of it. Um, that's kind of, you know, threatening and scary. You can never trust robots. That's the whole problem, right? Like androids. <laughs> robots. <laughs> um, yeah, I think what's cool about that is, of course, it plays straight into that. It's straight into the whole evolution of, like, just, you know, three just doesn't trust computers. And what's great about playing that character is that that's kind of what we're all like. We have this love-hate relationship with computers, and we're like, okay, you know, self-driving cars are around the corner. But really? Do you want to sit in one? I hope everyone else has one. <laughs> To be honest, because it's probably better than anybody else's driving, but I want to drive my own car. You know, it's that whole thing. I don't want like my car to be the Microsoft, you know, crashing car when I'm going down the highway at 140k. It, it's that whole relationship that 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 we're exploring with Three's relationship with everything technological, but particularly with the Android and having her come and point a gun at my head. I'm like, see. Darn thing! How did that happen? She's gone all glitchy. Anyway, we'll, uh, well, you'll find out on Friday. She's not just a robot. She's not just a machine. She's kind of got a personality, and she's somebody that kind of sure. incorporated into their family a little bit. Well, I guess that's the question. Even if you have a chip that gives you a personality, are you are you a human? Are you worthy of being treated like a human? And uh, our show our show has a certain opinion on that. But three might differ. Hello. He's been having a love affair with somebody who doesn't exist. She's only on a computer chip. I think yeah, he's open-minded. <laughs> no, I'm not sure he's open-minded about that. Not that that was easy for him. Yeah. Though. What would you do? I mean, geez. You'd go see your you'd go see your partner, and then you'd be like, man, this is really weird. Am I cheating on you? <laughs> like, what are the lines of cheating if you're, like, seeing someone in a computer? Does it, like, does loyalty... I think you're safe. Are you safe? You're allowed to do anything outside the computer? It's the same person. It's just still there. These are the questions. Like These are the questions. Anyway. Do you feel like because he's spending more time with Sarah that he's going to want to maybe learn, get more of his memories back as well? Ooh, that's a darn good question. Um, three has a... a a pretty straightforward... Um, relationship with the past in, in that he doesn't care too much about it. I mean, lots of folks will spend time examining their past, but the three's a living moment kind of guy. So, uh, I don't I don't think three is fussed either way. And the whole Sarah thing, we actually do explore that a little bit about when he finds out something more about the past, because we've, we've heard that Rio knows something about my character's past that I don't know. And um, that will be explored this episode, this year. And uh, you will see Three's reaction to whether or not he wants more or less of the past. Stay tuned. I feel like you get beat up almost every episode. Every episode. <laughs> so, yep. is, do they do that on purpose, or is that something that you just want? <laughs> Uh, you request I, it. I, I know, every, 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 every time a new episode comes out. I'm like, whoa, whoa, like, whoa, yeah. where's the scene where I get my ass kicked by somebody? <laughs> Can't we get like a little six-year-old kid in here somewhere to kick my ass? <laughs> um, it is true, actually. People seem to love seeing me get beat up. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe that's just their way of... <laughs> 
of uh, payback. Um, I think what's interesting about Three's character is that he isn't a superhero. And everyone else in the show is kind of a superhero in some kind of way. They all, they're all really frigging good at something. Which, to be honest, none of us really are in life. We're all kind of average and normal, and most of us aren't Olympians. Uh, most of us are kind of like regular dudes. And that's what's actually fun about that character, in that, yeah, sure, he's good with a gun. That's about all he's good at. And he's a loyal guy. You know, he's got a bit of a sense of humor. And, and if he's got a superpower, it's that he never gives up. And uh, that's, that's like the best version of a human right there. Everyone else has got all these amazing things, but... I love playing that character so fine. That would lose every battle to everybody else, all these superhumans with their amazing skills or five or whoever. He recognizes that he has limitations, but doesn't doesn't really hold him back. He doesn't really care about it. He just moves forward. And uh, yeah, I love that. It's really fun. But it is true. <laughs> you had mentioned the, the superpowers. We've seen five have to like step in and save the day several times. What's what's that like for you? Uh, to... Awesome. <laughs> I love being the one who gets to save the day. Um, I mean, in the beginning, five was doing it. And, you know, she was she was the, the tech girl, and uh, and yeah, she did she did save the day, I suppose. But but now I get to go out on missions and be in disguises and uh, save the day right in the middle of it all. And uh, I I find that really fun. So I'm, yeah, I'm really enjoying where five's character is going this year. <laughs> and I also noticed like how much they seem to trust you more, um, especially the original crew. Like when yes. Lara and Adrian came on board, they were like, Oh, well, five is the awesome. Oh, she can handle herself. Yeah. So how did that feel? Like you know, being actually like part of the crew, like not just a tech girl or not just you know. Yeah, no, I'm I'm so happy that she's come this far. I mean, she was just the the kid in the beginning, really. I mean, she was capable of a lot more than that, but they didn't realize. And uh, three still calls her a kid all the time, but uh, but you know, in a it's because you are. That's <laughs> simple. You'll always be my kid. I'm a kid who saves the day. Okay. <laughs> Kids can save the day. Anybody who has kids knows that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, talk a little bit about your relationship with Six and what impact him and Don is having on you? Um, yeah, I mean, the relationship with Six has you know, been a little bit uh, rocky since the, since the beginning of the show. You know, first of all, he betrayed us, and then and then things were okay again, and now he's gone again. Uh, and I think that is rough on five, because she's all about family. Uh, she, she loves them. She just wants them to be together and be happy because she doesn't know where her family is, and so that, that really is her family. And so it's important to her that they stick together. So it's rough for anybody who leaves, and especially six, because she's so close with him. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's been it's been hard on her, but she knows that the only reason that he's gone is because he cares he cares about other people, and you know, he's he's trying to do the right thing. Um, so she understands that. But I think she's still kind of bummed out not to have a friend around. It's interesting how uh, how Six just keeps repeating. You know, even though he's lost his he's lost his memories. Like when when he finds out that he had a family and that he left him the whole yeah. nine yards for a principal, essentially, uh, and he does it again. Even though he like he just keeps doing it, and that's it's his strength, but it's also his weakness because the people he leaves behind like five have to deal with it and uh, yeah he's an interesting character six that way for sure Roger's cheeky I feel like um, three three and five had their own little relationship and then uh, five and six has their own little relationship like what difference do you see between the two like, it seems like your brother sister father daughter kind of a yeah yeah I mean I guess it's hard to it's hard to label them exactly because five's relationship with everybody in the crew is a little bit there's aspects of like you know six is kind of like a father figure um but he hasn't been around a whole lot this uh, this year and then i don't know i mean three has his moments as well in the in the time loop episode where he was trying to comfort me that felt like that felt like a father-daughter thing but he's not always like that so uh, so you know it, it depends on the episode i suppose but uh, but yeah yeah it's, you know it's her family i think uh I mean, when I as a just as like a fan watching the show, it, I mean, six and two really come across as the mom and dad, right? Like yeah. as the ones who are 
you know, I was doing the right thing and blah, blah, blah. Um, and if I had to describe our relationship, it, it's... It isn't. It, it's. It isn't father daughter, but it has elements of that. It has elements of brother and sister. It has elements of buddies. It has elements of mother son. It has like it has all these. No, really, it does, right? Uh, it, it, it's. Uh, I think it's one of. It's probably the most complex relationship that my character has with anybody, and uh, it's a lot of fun to play with Joda. Um, but, uh, so we just learned that Five has a sister. Yes. How much are you looking forward to exploring that aspect of your character? I really can't wait to find out more. I mean, you should have seen my face when I read that script. I was like, oh my gosh, she has a sister? This is crazy. That was like the biggest thing that I found out about Five so far. I really didn't know a whole lot about her, and then that was, that was just that was huge to, to find that out. Um, and I am incredibly curious to find out more about her. And um, and you might, you might find out uh, a little bit more. But uh, I'm curious if we'll have her on the show. Who should She'll be. Um, yeah, I'm just as curious as the rest of you guys because I really don't know anything more than she exists. <laughs> if you could cast someone, oh, I know. <laughs> oh, a that's a tough one. Maybe my sister. There we go. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, her sister, right now, if your sister was sitting right next to you, you'd be like, they're twins. <laughs> but they aren't. How far apart? Four years? Eight. Eight years. Oh my gosh. No, no, seriously. It is. There are some, there's some strong genes in that genetic suit. <laughs> And you also played like an older version of yourself. So yeah. How long did that makeup take for you? <laughs> so long. Um, we didn't have prosthetic pieces. We were trying to build it on with latex and these products that like make your skin wrinkly. Um, we have an amazing makeup artist, and I'm very impressed with what she did without having uh, actual prosthetic pieces. Uh, she's incredible. Um, it looked amazing, but it definitely, it definitely took hours to uh, to try. It. To get it to look decent, but she, she did such a good job. And then I had the contact lenses in as well, so that, that helps with the hair and all that. Um, yeah. yeah, quite a process, but worth it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks, you guys. Guys.